Good morning, Sanbeam. So I don't have to give you any explanation about the Republic Day because most of the children spoke wonderfully well. I'm particularly impressed by the English accent of many of the children who came and spoke and the life and vigor of Tamil in Sanbeam. Very nice. I should also add that the music was fantabulous. In fact, it was able to evoke patriotism in the minds of the children. When the voice was raised, Vande Mataram, there was a tremendous Indian spirit which got coupled with the winning spirit of Sanbeam. So on this Republic Day, I must be quite happy to share with you certain facts about what's happening in Sanbeam. Wherever we go, wherever our children, whether it's CBSE or metric, wherever our children go to compete with other schools, we come out victorious. And I see many children running in the ground in the 400 meters track, good number, which is an excellent exercise. To make champions, we must run in the ground. I welcome as many of you to please come forward, including girls and also the so-called Gundubushkas. Whoever is interested in becoming a slim, elegant, slith, beautiful, shapely, marvelous, attractive personality, as you all know, a sound mind in a sound body. So on this 74th Republic Day, I request more, hundred, more than 500 children who have come here to please take a vow to become Sunbeam champions. Please do that. And in the recent JEE exam, we have done well. In fact, we are expecting state level this year. We have champions with us. Our teachers are working very hard. Now, what is my special request to you, apart from making yourself trim and healthy, on this Republic Day, I request you all to speak about yourself. Don't be mum. It's very essential that you speak about yourself. Try to collect facts and figures about the success story of Sunbeam. Please view the website of Sunbeam. There is so much there. I know many of you do not do that. It's a usual custom for people to forget themselves. Remember that every one of you is very young, handsome, beautiful, success oriented and you have a very bright future. Because you belong to a community of champions called the Sunbeam Champions. On a daily basis, as you wake up in the morning, I request you to strongly believe that you are going to make it and yes, you can. If you are struggling in studies, remember that confidence is the key. Hard work is the next one. Continued hard work and consistency and remarkable progress can be made through consistency and hard work only if you have confidence. What does that confidence convey? What conveys the confidence? The constant slogan reverberating and ringing in your mind on a daily basis from morning till evening that you can do is the Taraka Mantra of success. Anybody who wakes up in the morning and thinks it's a bad day, I can't do, test is bad, teachers are difficult, I know what I'm going to do with no aim for the day, will suffer throughout the day and end the day also in a sad note. You will be unhappy. But the easy way to be happy is to believe that you can do it. Confidence is the key. So my special message to all my children and of course all the teachers also because only if you begin to talk with idea that you are strong, you are firm, you are capable, 
you can do then you will do let me tell you one thing the strongest boy if he thinks that he is not strong enough he will be weak you know stories about people who were who had broken legs who could run races and won win on a international level you just see through the websites find out people who were handicapped and became dancers became runners became sports champions you know why yes of course they didn't have a hand they didn't have a leg but still they could swim they could ride two wheelers they could ride cars and win races there are so many wonderful personalities like this spread throughout the world just because of one taraka mantra called yes i can do it and i would like to finish with another important taraka mantra that from today i request every one of you to say as many times as possible throughout the day to yourselves whenever you get a gap and that is i love myself i love myself i am a happy person i am a lovely person i am an attractive person i have talents i can do it and above all i love myself because if you don't love yourself who would love you if any of you would be interested in getting loved by others everybody will put up their hands and say yes i want everybody to love me at least some people to love me everybody is craving for love everybody is thirsting for love but then we refuse to love ourselves which is the biggest mistake we commit please tell yourself on a daily basis i love myself and to love yourself you should have qualities of lovability we should become reformed human beings we should become successful thinkers we should be wanting to read learn adapt adjust love yourself love yourself very much love yourself the most if your friend lets you down if your teacher scolds you if your parent is unhappy if the people around you are frustrated with you and they don't like you still there must be one person in the whole world who should never 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 give up loving yourself and that is yourself don't give up children if sunbeam loves itself if the entire sunbeam community loves itself i am 100% confident that we would become one of the best schools in the world thank you